Okay, after that horrible ordeal, uh, we will just go through the uh, remainder of the mini games, and I don't think there's that many. Should be two. Here is one. Oh, okay. It's this one. Let's go shoot, shoot the sheep saucers. Wow, they really like these sheep saucers. That's probably one of the main reasons I really, really dislike Spyro 3 is a lot of it feels like an acid flip. And like a lot of people are always like, oh, it's the best game in the series, but it's like, it's every iteration of Spyro except for this had unique chests. This one just copied the chests from two. Half of the enemies are copies from two, except for the Rhinox, which I felt were quite lazy design. Um, and yeah, I hate the sorceress. Like, I just maybe that's a good thing because she's a villain, but like, I think she's very lazy as a concept. She doesn't feel threatening like any of the other villains do because she doesn't do anything. So when her final boss comes round, you're like, why should I be scared of you? You're never shown to be scary. In fact, you seem to just be pulling bosses out of your ass in between worlds. And like, oh shit, yeah, the, the, Bianca turned this one into a frog or whatever, I don't know. And then it's just, she doesn't, she, I think she literally doesn't stand up from her fucking seat for like three quarters of the game and then we're supposed to be scared of her and then she's one of the easiest bosses for me, personally. The The thing that's difficult about it is that you have to keep using different like vehicles to fight her, but it's not that big a deal. Yeah, I did it, I think. Oh. What? you got to be fucking kidding me. I have... It was that two gem from before, right? Sparks, why? Oh, let's go around, it's making me go this way, so I, I guess we'll just do one lap, because he said it's in here. Not enough people know, and I didn't know. If you tap L3, or you click L3, he will... Sparks will point to the nearest treasure and trust me that if you're going for a hundred percent you're gonna need to do that in this game because the gems don't stand out as well as they did originally because originally they were pretty obvious and they were pretty easy to see from a distance now there's a lot of stuff on screen which is good but like means that they can hide in the grass by accident. It means that yeah, everything is very brightly colored. So we're gonna need that. Because otherwise you're just gonna walk by. There we go. I'm now one gem over the max again. I will leave. I will not leave. Okay, great. I'm not gonna do a whole race, no. Bye bye. He says that there are more gems in there, the submarine level. But to be honest, we have enough. So, what's the point of me doing? Oh, and then he says it's, there's more gems up here and in the walls. He does this sometimes because sometimes the game just lets gems get stuck in the geometry and you're supposed to find them. Sometimes it's like they actually are in a secret area and other times like I found it's just they fucked up and the gem spawns in the wrong place. It, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all your best chance of defeating her is my flying saucer. I'm glad she's I'm patiently waiting for you to tell me this. And unlimited... She's also a different color, I'm pretty sure. So she doesn't say anything, 
She just makes random barks. There's no, I will get you this time, Spyro. She's like, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <sighs> your second boss fight is just as disappointing as the first. And like, I, you know, I was complaining about this before. Compare her boss fight to Ripto. You were flying after Ripto in the final stage and doing cool shit. They had to like give her this and it like, it's boring. <laughs> it's straight up just boring. Look, it's just, I will do what I was doing with the sheep earlier, which is flying around after them and shooting at them. Basically, all of the hunter mini games and the um, speedways have trained me to do this and this alone. To be fair, the flying sections of this game are probably some of the best within the series, so let's give it some bonuses for that. But the amount of eggs you have to collect and the fact that this stupid final boss is the least effective of all of the final bosses because she just does not do anything. And the sub-bosses, as a, as a result, suffer. You see Gulp and Crush from the beginning. They go back to Spyro 1 for this, where they're just pulled out of their ass. Ah, oh, yay, cute. Offspring, great, get him out of my face. Final mission, final thing. Yay, don't ask how we have children, because you'll be freaked out. Here's an apple. Oh, it's so cute when they're hideous. And don't even match the art style of the rest of the game. Oh, he burped, how adorable. Everyone loves it when kids burp in your fucking face. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, that's not killing it. Yay, how adorable. The fat one burped. But no, no, overall, it's, it was fine, it's just... I just feel like the final things were just not very exciting for me, like, you know, there's no... Maybe I'm just not attached to it as much as I thought. Oh, look at that credit stutter. Oh, is this too hard for you, game? Is my PS4 just dying slowly? Let me just get rid of that. Let's just... Let's, let's end on a... The adventure does not continue. <laughs> I've 100%ed all three games. Don't ask, there's no new Spyro Plus. Leave me alone. <laughs> I've got more important things to be doing. <laughs> I am done with this series. I will probably not come back to it for another five to ten years knowing me, so it's done. Bye-bye.